twin plumbers are talking plumbing emergencies. For those plumbers and homeowners, you gotta have these tools and we're gonna give you some tips to save you thousands of dollars on those emergency plumbing leaks and disasters. All right, so my personal favorite, and this is more towards you as the homeowner, is really having the proper clean out. And what do I mean by clean out? That's the sewer pipe that comes up out of the ground where the plumbers put the snake in to unclog the drain. A lot of times these plumbing emergencies are backing up and sewage is flooding the home. And in order to prevent that sewage from coming into the home, I would highly recommend getting rid of the raised threaded plug and replacing it with an all rubber gym cap. Why? Well, if the sewage is backing up, it's automatically gonna pop this off if you don't tighten it down. So I just recommend putting it over the pipe that's coming out of the ground. As the sewage rises, it automatically pops off. The sewage goes outside versus inside. So my next uh, tip here, you guys, for technicians and the homeowners, is always keeping a pad of rubber and a couple hose clamps. This is huge. Also, making sure that you have a great four-in-one screwdriver, amazing, because when you have a pinhole leak, let's say on a copper pipe, all you have to do is cut a section of this rubber, cover the pinhole, and then you can temporarily clamp it. That will stop and neutralize the emergency plumbing leak. That's right. Yeah, the other, the other is, and this is really for plumbers, is having a good flashlight. I know it sounds silly, but a good flashlight, I've seen some flashlights that just are a waste of time. You can't really see. Highly recommend a high-powered battery a Makita flashlight or an LED flashlight. Yeah, absolutely, guys. We see so often, because customers on emergencies, guys, they want to know what's going on. And if you don't have a good flashlight and a phone to really record that emergency plumbing, they're not going to have a good idea of what's going on. So a pressure gauge is so important to have on an emergency especially on a water heater leak or a, um, you know, a supply line that burst. We kind of want to check the, the um, pressure of the water system and a pressure gauge is going to give you that reading and really evaluate what caused that plumbing emergency. Well, not only that, but for expansion, you know, a lot of plumbers don't even know how to read or check yeah. for expansion. They'll so replace a regulator. They'll replace a regulator because of high pressure. And a lot of complaints that plumbers get is, hey, my faucet's still dripping or my toilet's still dripping after you replace right. the regulator. Well, it's because you didn't have a gauge and you didn't check for expansion. In fact, we have one of our videos that shows how to check for expansion, but this is an awesome tool to have yep. uh, as a emergency plumber. Yeah, guys, and, and one of the biggest things, too, is, is channel locks. Man, I can't tell you enough how important a set of plumbing channel locks. Um, you know, a lot of guys will go with sort of generic tools like this, but uh, to have a very small, medium, and a large is huge because you sometimes have to tighten something up, back something up. Um, you know, the little channel locks will get into small areas. The bigger channel locks will help you sort of torque and uh, give you that easy sort of, you know, way of just neutralizing that particular issue. That's right, and, and again, going back to the manufacturer, we really recommend Channel Lock. This has been around for, gosh, since my dad's plumbing company in 1982, and that's all we've used. Yep. And going from that to something else is, is a complete waste of time. Yeah, this uh, basin wrench is really, really good to have as well, especially when you have an emergency plumber a uh, plumbing leak that's underneath a vanity or a kitchen sink. Maybe a supply line is broken or loose up at the connection of the faucet. And maybe that angle stop is not working properly. So you, all you do is need to tighten it up. Well, a basin wrench is a must have because channel locks, you don't have enough room to get in between the uh, bottom of that vanity area. So that's definitely right. a, a basin wrench is, is important to have. You know, a lot of these plumbing emergencies, 
they're inside walls or they're inside ceilings and you gotta be able to cut those areas out. So in order to facilitate that, you do need to have a Sawzall. They make these battery operated now so you don't have to run an extension cord, but an ex uh, a Sawzall to open up the wall and then what my brother is showing this you right here. This is huge here. right here. There's so many plumbers that don't carry a wet shop vac. Guys, it's so important to carry this on your truck. It not only mops up all the water and extracts the water from the leak, but also too, if you do have a pipe leak, it literally, you can suck all the water, keep it contained, and if you're cutting a wall, it keeps it a dust-free environment by just having this vacuum. This right here is golden for every homeowner and a plumbing, plumbing technician. Yeah. And not only that with the vacuum, you wanna make sure that you get a HEPA filter yeah. because that's going to really bring in all the particulates. fine particulates in the air. So what, a lot of times what we do is one guy will be cutting while the other technician is following that blade down that wall, bringing in all of that dust. Well guys, we sure hope this video was helpful. As always, thanks, thanks for watching. watching.